Yeah? yeah? Right? Yes. Yeah. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. Now, this is something of a new <coughs> trick. We are at Drupal South in Wellington and it's the code sprint day and I'm hoping the audio for this is good enough because we're talking into that microphone right there and there's a lot going on around us. I'm speaking with Dan Morrison and Heike Theis today and they were the organizers or the co-organizers of the code sprint day today, is that right? That's right. And the, almost the very first thing I noticed when I showed up today were these amazing, there's a poster that I'll blend in a photo of right now. There are these really, really interesting cards um, on how you can sort of get a mini, you know, reward for actually doing something at the code sprint, right? And I love how this gives structure to the whole event. So I want to talk with you about how you got there. But first, Dan, why don't you tell us how long you've been doing Drupal? I've been doing Drupal for a little over eight years now, since it fit on a floppy disk. Um, it, was, it was 640 by 480 monitors back then. Good fun. Wow. So, so what version of Drupal would that have been? 4.7 was our first release. My first, I got started with 4.1, and it was 4.7 by the time we went live. So. Now, I really hope that that noise is not ruining this, but oh my gosh. <laughs> 4.1. Okay, so I have to ask you, compare Drupal now to Drupal when you got started. I have a small story about that. For so long, I used to open up the code and it would make me smile. I'm trying desperately to smile with something. Else. It's got bigger, it's got better, it's got more configurable, um, it's got more powerful, obviously. It's got harder to understand, I've got to say. Hi, Kim. How long have you been doing Drupal? I've been the, um, building sites with Drupal as a site builder since 2006. Since 2006. What version of Drupal was that? Five. Drupal 5. And how do you feel about where Drupal is going today? Um, I have uh, a bit, I have almost the opposite, <laughs> the opposite story from Dan because I was looking at Drupal 5 when I came to New Zealand and I went like, oh my god, is this really helpful? And I was looking at Drupal 6 and thought, oh, okay, uh, maybe we get somewhere with this. And then I was opening up Drupal 7 and since then I'm really like the biggest fan. And I love working with it and it totally changed my whole attitude to um, working with CMS systems and really trying to achieve my client's goals with this. And um, I'm only a site builder. And a business analyst, so I just love to sit with my clients, building sites for them while they sit next to me and just trying to work this out together with them. And since Drupal 7, this is just possible. And okay, I have to, do, I have to go to the guys to yeah, build me some really tricky stuff. Um, but otherwise, I can just go through the motions with my clients, clicking buttons, and I'm really happy about that. Right, so we're one of the, certainly one of the few CMSs that's been designed from the ground up for the person who wants to put together sites using components that are ready and um, so you're actually our ideal persona. Yeah, yeah, definitely and I really, as I said, so I love, because I was uh, coding to a certain uh, uh, standard, um, I stopped 2005, too old for that, <laughs> and um, so I just needed a system that actually kind of understands the way I understand information architecture and Drupal did this from the start, so even with Drupal 5 it, was, it did already, was in line with my thinking about information architecture and uh, content structures and things like this, but since Drupal 7 I can really just go and do stuff and I think everybody, I, think, I still think there's a bit of a learning curve for site builders as well, but you are just enabled to move stuff and it's, yeah, it really makes things happen. I, yeah, big fan now. So from your perspective on the coding side, what do you think about how Drupal 8 is shaping up? It's got a lot of potential that 
I have yet to appreciate is what I'm looking at. Um, it scares me. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> is, there some, is there something that you're the most excited about? Um, well, the configuration and code is the big thing because um, I've been doing the deployments forever. Um, we've always had to write down instructions or try to automate how you make a release go live and that's been the biggest handicap for, for Drupal. And fair, to be fair to all CMSs um, that are run at the database level and have this level of flexibility. Yeah. But um, we get regressions, we get notes that we have to pass on to somebody who actually does the release three weeks or a month later. Oh, yeah. um, and things that have been signed off don't quite make it to live. Um, so I think the configuration and code is a step beyond the features, which I'm a big fan of as well. Um, that's, that makes me think that some of these problems have been solved. I, I'm not sure. I think it was Larry Garfield who called features the least bad solution to the deployment problem so far. There's so ways to hate features. There yeah. certainly are. We've encountered <laughs> them. Um, uh -huh. Heike was a victim of my first experiment with features. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd say CMI is a definite win for you when oh, Drupal 8? Oh, for sure, yeah. Okay. I'm really looking forward to seeing that reaction. So at the Drupal South Code Sprint today, I can um, choose one or more sets of activities and then get a little mini certification as a community contributor, as a, Even like a, <laughs> as, a as a patcher, <laughs> as a developer, as a tester, and as a builder. And um, it's a whole bunch of really doable activities uh, dependent on your skill and experience level. How did you guys come up with this idea? Um, how did I come up with it? Well, I was, uh, I was given the challenge of running the, um, the code sprint, and as I've been a mentor in a few of the previous Drupal cons. Um, and my experience from the previous Drupal cons had been um, you get a big number of beginners who just want to join in, and they get told, Here's a issue in Drupal core that's been open for three months. Um, please patch it. And these are people who haven't got the latest version of Drupal on their on their on their laptops. Um, some of them haven't even installed it locally before. And so I saw this big gulf between what we want our core contributors to do in the code sprints, because yes, we'd like to close issues, we'd like to do patches, and what these people thought they were going to do. It, I've seen faces drop when they realise that we're talking about Drupal N plus one. These are people who are involved in Drupal, are using it on a day-to-day -day basis, they're site builders, they're now just taking the step to get involved with the community, and they've got a Drupal 7 site, and we're talking about Drupal 8, and they just go, nah. oh. so I thought you were going to solve my problems, or <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to get onto this little thing that's been annoying me, um, and we're talking two years in the future, and these people get really shell-shocked. So I'm just looking for the one that you um, right. So be builder the, basically. For, or, or so so I have the developer mm. activities here. Install local AMP stack. Install local IDE. Get local copy of Git. Download and install Drupal eight. I assume head and Indeed. and get it running. How does it's a big achievement for it's, some people? Sure, and it's, it just feels so good when you get there. How does this these how do these sets of activities fit in with the Drupal ladder? I think it's just basically um, we, we are trying, uh, in a way, we are trying to just bridge the gap to get people onto the ladder. Um, so this is basically just we, we pick them up when they arrive and uh, we introduce them uh, to those tasks and then we basically pass them on. However, most of these things are actually a good, a good point to then go to the ladder and continue. There is follow-up documentation on the yeah. website which actually has the links to the Drupal ladder um, that's relevant to these ones. Um, a lot of the tasks are really well covered by the ladder, uh, but it's our job to make it a little bit more in your face with a physical piece of paper with something you can point at. I'm not going to point out a link that's printed on a piece of paper, so that's on the website. Right. I also uh, know that I do better if I have a defined set of actionable things um, on paper, for better or worse, it, it makes it it makes it a lot more real to me. I'm a person who lives from my paper notes when yeah. I'm doing things yeah. too. 
and it's one of those things when we come to the conference or the meetups, um, you are actually physically in the same place for oh, yeah. once in a month or once in a year. And so it was important to me to have something physical that um, wasn't just uh, yeah. a checkbox online. Um, you know, I was looking at the gamification or the award system or the badges, and it's like, oh, you know, you can get an online badge. It's like, oh, the point is that you're actually here. Here's yeah. something that you can hold in your hand and get together around a table. People are actually leaning over a table and looking at the thing together when they're doing the collaboration instead of each looking at their own laptop. Oh, yeah. that's lovely. So it, uh, it it's, uh, even builds the interpersonal connection on the day. It takes advantage of the fact that you're in a physical space for the first time. Terrific. So uh, we are going to collect all of the, of the source code for these, the tasks and the links and the designs as they are and I will post them along with this and we'll make them available. Of course, uh, it is all completely um, Creative Commons, it was reuse. Built, it was built with reuse in mind. Yes. Um, it was an idea that we thought to try out. I didn't know whether it was a little immature or a little strange or wacky. Um, many of the people that turned up today, they already knew what they were doing and it's lovely. Um, but the people who just wanted to be pointed in the right direction, that we had something physical to, to give them a starter with and some really clearly defined goals and a few little prizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, uh, what, um, uh, what I think both Dan and I are pleased about, um, I think it really kind of bridged um, a bit the gap, oh, I'm on Drupal 7 and now they basically tell me to get Drupal 8 on my machine and get it running and I saw quite a few people you know, like who just um, are there now and see it. Okay, terrific. And um, obviously these can be customized for any kind of a sprint and done in any language and, and um, I, could see, I could see them being a, having a lot of potential in a lot of ways. Thank you so much for doing this. Can I just give a shout out to the um, Simply Test Me platform? Yes. Because that enabled us to get people moving a lot faster. Um, people who didn't, weren't able to do the whole Git patch IDE thing were still able to contribute to half of our tasks by warming up um, through Simply Test Me, a full instance running a patch because Simply Test Me allows you to run a patch, and they can take a screenshot without running Drupal 8 locally. They can apply a patch and confirm whether the problem still exists without applying Drupal 8. And so that meant that um, we were able to have a wider range of, um, of tasks. Shout out Simply Test Me double plus good. They yes. could do it with the iPad, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we've got Drupal running on iPads now. No, we've got simply test running on iPad. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the same thing for the... All right. Yeah. You didn't fall for it. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's so great to talk with you. And thanks again for this awesome code sprint today. It's really lovely it's to see you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Cheers.